Hello everyone, Gene Molina here, Natural Tennis Solutions. So we're talking the overhead. Haven't done anything on the overhead, so here we go. My major piece to this is the setup. Old school is point at the ball, get into the elbow here, which is the trophy pose, but it does mess up a little bit of the movement. So as you're moving, to move like this, it's a little bit more uncomfortable, plus it takes you off balance a little bit. Your upper body gets a little bit off balance. So I like to teach the overhead by just telling students to make sure that first thing they do is turn and get the racket into this position here. So my racket is at an angle, my left hand is still on the racket. It's almost like a forehand if you really think about it. On my forehand, I'll come around here but this becomes up higher. If I get myself set and the ball is coming, my real major move would be to just do this here and here. And I don't have to do much rotation. I'm just setting up to do this and this. There's gonna be a little bit of rotation. We're gonna do a little bit. We're gonna rotate back a little to rotate forward, but just that amount of rotation will give you enough power to put an overhead away. When you're moving for an overhead, it becomes more difficult. So think about the simplicity as you're holding the racket here and moving or moving or moving. Everything's staying there while you can get your body to feel comfortable as you go. So at this point, let me hit a few. I'm just going to show you how simple this setup is and how long I can wait for the ball. I don't really have to rush anything. And that's one of the big things, rushing the overhead. All right. Almost took Jeremy out. All right, so hitting those overheads didn't really rush too much. Obviously, they were in a nice, easy spot for me, but just to show you the turning and the holding, this is key. When you get yourself here, you can move around this way and it will feel pretty comfy. Once this sets up, then it's just a matter of a little rotation back. So my core, my shoulders, rotate back, get into the swing. One thing I wanted to explain is it gets very dangerous when we start to go this way, we're impinging this shoulder. If you can keep it at the same height, the arm at the same height as the shoulder, that's safer for your arm, it's more comfortable. So as I go to hit this overhead, notice I set up and it's already in that position, I'm here. And then as the ball comes, all I'm doing is dropping and then hitting. I'm not reaching up too high. Reaching up high makes some people go this way, and that's impingement. If you have shoulder problems, serving like this and hitting overheads like this is going to hurt that shoulder. So as a safety rule, just try to figure out if you're doing that too much, if you're actually taking yourself to go up instead of just coming across in here. The actual way to do this and get the extension up will be to set this up and as you go to swing you're going to tilt your upper body so that the arm can still stay level with the shoulder but it will be a higher rotation that is pretty much what you'll see on the serve so the body has to tilt as it comes around i'm pulling this way as this comes around and if i if i get myself to come down you can see that the arm is still here. So I don't want to pull this up too high. All right, so that would be the end of that. If you need any answers to questions, comments, please let me know, and I will see you on the next one.